Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Journey. Finally, it has happened. We have the ability to actually take and build up Thorin a little bit. Now, this game has been incredibly difficult when it comes to building out the heroes, which is what we're gonna be looking at today. Also wanna do some summons. Everything that we have is literally going into summons, but what is happening is once we hit level 100, we literally hit an essence wall. We weren't able to make any more progression. Now, before on the PTR, when I played, you could actually buy essence every single day out of the Emporium. As of now, there is no essence in there to buy, so it is kind of a little bit of a wall, and I'm hearing this from a lot of different players. Is when you actually get to this point, you can see even coming down here is the levels. We are missing essence and we are missing essence in, in its entirety. So of course, a couple places that you can really, really farm this that I've been focusing on kind of level wise. Now remember, similar to what we did with our boss fight last time is when you're looking at specific heroes, especially in this hand of resonance, um, you wanna go in and you wanna put all the heroes in here based on where you are within the towers. So this does make a really big difference if you have level deficiencies it's gonna make a really big difference in here. Going through the Greatborn Tower, going through the Tower of Nature, you have to make sure again that you're pushing progression. So what I mean by that is right here. So if we're going through the Wilder Tower, you can see all of my heroes are 110. Fine, that is great that it works. But we do have Thorin that is at 120. So taking one of my very strong Wilders and putting him as a level 120 hero. So essentially even swapping out Leica, all the Wilders are gonna be at 110. Of course, Leica is gonna be at 120. And you can kind of go through this and see exactly what heroes you're gonna be using and make sure again, this is really, I feel like a big, big part that players kind of overlook is having the abilities to swap a couple heroes in here. And of course, most of the time your heroes are not gonna be kind of this even when it comes to levels. You might have one that's really high. You might have one that's really low. Now remember, when it comes to the residents as well, you cannot go more than 10 levels. So they always have to be within 10 levels of each other, which means the lowest that I can be is 110. I have to get all of the heroes over. And as you can see, we need about 1700 essence just north of 1700 to actually build a hero up to level 111, which means two, four, six, seventy, what, 77, about 7,800 essence out of here, meaning that we're gonna have a ton of time stuck at the current levels that we are. Now looking at our AFK process or progress, I've been farming this quite a bit, but you can see even here that we only get 1681 a day, which means we don't even have the ability to level up one single hero a day if we're just strictly based on this essence. Now, of course, a lot of players are saying, and I don't know how you feel, if this is worth to go ahead and spend your 50 diamonds to get the essence out of here personally, I think it might be worth it. And the logic behind it is when you think, now again, we used to be able to buy this in the Emporium, but I don't know the cost or return spending diamonds to get the essence. But I feel like this is gonna be a really big part where if you're farming literally one extra one of these a day, so just doing that basic 50 diamonds every day, when you think of that 50 diamonds, let's say we got 150 essence, over the course of a week, we can actually expedite going through here and building this out. Now, in addition, as we go ahead and level this up further, it of course is going to yield us more rewards, meaning that the 50 diamonds that we're spending for this are going to increase beneficially or exponentially based on the ability to make progression in here. And of course, going through and building out those heroes a little bit further. Now we've also been farming out the battle drills quite a bit. In here, I wanna look at the two chests that we have within the battle drills. Now in here, we do have the guild loop. There are two different chests. And then of course, there's reputation. As we level up, we can actually pick this up just based on coming in here and playing. Now we've said this before, this is probably one of the most important parts within AFK Journey um, for the simple fact that you get resources out of here, but this is a competitive function within the guild. The guild has to be active. If you have players in your guild that are not being active, that are not helping you through these battle drills, you're not gonna be able to make the progression that you want. So looking at the chest of valor, you can see there are two different chests you can pick out of here. And overall, and again, I don't know if this is the way, but just looking at the resources or the rewards that we get in here, I love seeing the guild medals. Now, of course, with the guild, guild medals, they are gonna give us the ability to get those higher tier heroes, which is exactly what we want. Now down here, we do have our epic invite letter. We do have the invitation letter, which we also have up here. And then of course, it's just all diamonds. Now remember, 
with the diamonds. We cannot do summons with the diamonds through the Stargazer, which means getting these guild medals are gonna make a really big difference. And that is the reason why I choose the Adventures treasure versus the other one. And again, let me know in the comments which one is most beneficial because right now I'm trying to get these guild medals, really building them up. I know acorns to make progression with a lot of heroes. You have a chance at your 3000 diamonds, which would be awesome to see. But overall, that is the reason I go in here. And again, I buy the adventure chest out of here. Four keys, boom, we get another 70 guild medals. So unfortunately, not a great reward out of there. But again, we could get the diamonds, we could get a couple other things. And like I was saying with those guild medals, we are looking to build these guild heroes right here. So looking at a copy of Rainier, um, this is probably the strongest hero that we have right now in AFK Journey until we continue getting more. But overall, Rainier is a very, very broken hero that a lot of players are really trying to get. As you can see, we're about 5,000 away. And this is the guild store. And of course, the arena store the same. You want to be farming the guild. And again, the guild in AFK Journey is just an absolute game changer that you have to go through here and you have to farm as much as possible as fast as possible because these are where you get the really, really strong heroes. I cannot, again, stress that enough going in there and making sure that you're making progression in here. Now, of course, within here, we've been looking to get that copy of Vela. Um, we have 20 more summons, which right now we have enough diamonds to do one summon. So we're gonna be a little bit short, just kind of based on the summons, unless we get lucky and we pull this copy of Vela. Now, normally I wouldn't go in here and I haven't been summoning for Vela, um, but overall, I wanted to see if we could get a copy of her um, out of here. Now, there's Coco. Now, a lot of players have said that Coco is absolutely amazing. Um, it is a hero that I haven't really built up or really had a time to play with yet, but I'm hoping that they are very true. And again, I get a lot of comments when it comes to the AFK videos. Um, that That is a hero to build. Now, of course, here we have six more letters, 39 to go to go ahead and build these out. I'm hoping that with just our regular ones, and again, we're saving these diamonds for the other summons. So every day we're doing these, these summons in here. And I don't like, I wanted to just skip the animation. And I don't know if you can set it just to literally skip the animation every time, but I wanna make sure that we're not using our diamonds in here. I wanna make sure that we're only using the cards that we get. There we go, there's another copy of Corinne. This is the reason, again, if you're sitting on summons, now I know there are a lot of players that do sit and do utilize the summons in here or save the summons. It is very detrimental for an account to save the summons, guys. That is because you could be getting extra copies of heroes that you're going to be using in a bunch of different game modes. And then we do have seven more recruitment letters in here. So let's go ahead and burn these through as well. Hopefully, again, we get something good out of here. Come on, where's our hero? And there we go. There is one. And we got him. We got Shakir, so we have been looking for um, this hero forever. This, of course, is one of the most, again, well-built, solid off tanks that we have within AFK Journey. Took me a long time, and I know D2 is gonna say congratulations because we finally got that copy of Shakir. That, that's one that we have absolutely been looking for. And you can see we're just kind of stockpiling acorns here, but that is awesome to get it. That means 27 more chances or 27 more go around to actually get the hero. And then of course, Stargazer, we're just sitting on it. Unfortunately, um, not much you can do here when you don't have these little stellar crystals. It literally, there's nothing you can do with the Stargazer. Can't use the diamonds for it, unfortunately, and don't have an ability to get those short of getting purchases. But overall, getting them out of the store is really gonna be a big difference. But like we were saying with the Essence, Going in here in the Legends Trial, building these out, and again, pushing these as far as possible, guys. And what you're looking for in here is Essence. Not only do three more floors are gonna give me some more scrolls, but you are looking to get Essence out of this nonstop. Now, I know AFK Arena, we go in here, we farm for the Stargazer scrolls, we farm in here for the Time Emblems. Here, it is all about the Essence. The Essence are where we're locked from progression. Not only the summons itself, which of course can help a lot, getting more copies of certain heroes, but you have to get the essence in here to make progression. Now, overall, when it comes to building out, we do have a supplement. So I picked up a chest, which was in our inventory right here, which of course is Thorin. Thorin is the one we're gonna get out of here. We have been looking and trying to build Thorin up, honestly, since we've released this game. Unfortunately, we have had horrible, horrible luck with building out Thorin. 
but at this point we are getting him built up a little bit further, which is awesome. So even looking at the amount of HP that he gets increased, I mean, physical defense, magical defense, the survivability of this hero goes up exponentially when we build him out, which again is the reason why we're gonna build him. Then of course, using our acorns, getting him up, boom, to legendary. Now this for me is probably going to be an absolute game changer, getting him built up a little bit just to have that survivability of having, again, a very, very solid tank. Now, of course, within AFK Journey, you have to have a solid tank, and he is the best. Even looking at our tanks in general here, um, Entendre does okay, Lucius does kind of okay. Granny is another tank that is okay, but when it comes to Thorin itself, um, Thorin is just completely broken for a hero, so I'm super stoked to have him at Legendary. Smokey can keep him up, Rowan can keep him up, um, a couple different heroes in here that can actually make this work. Now going through here, gaining those two levels, it's gonna give me the ability to go through and make a lot more progression within the AFK rewards. Um, that way we can, again, kind of farm it. In addition, farmed up some AFK rewards, so finally we get the Hypophene. A lot of players are moving into the next zone, and as you can see, we're at 100%, so every single zone that we have been to and we continue to go in, we have been able to finish out and complete at 100%, which is really, really cool to see that we're going in here. And again, Thorin with the tank has the healing in there. There's the retaliation. Boom, big retaliation in there, which is awesome. Smokey keeping him alive. Crowd control from Cecilia, which I absolutely love. Crowd control, of course, from T Tim Sia. Um, again, it works incredibly well within AFK Arena. And there we go. This moves us into the mountains. We have been waiting to get in here and into the next zone. And of course, when you get into a new zone, there we go, so one more cleared. Move into the new zone, and there we are. We are in the mountains. We can continue with our main quest. Now, of course, this is gonna prompt us for quite a few more rewards right there. We picked up some. Now, in addition, when you move to new zones, you can actually go to a couple different stores in here. These stores are gonna give you more rewards based on your progression. So as we're moving through here, um, and some of it takes a minute to load, but as we're going through here, we'll be able to pick up some more resources out of here, um, some more gear, some more levels, everything out of the shop itself. As we're continuing going through here, now we have what, 1150. So I've been picking up EXP. Now at this point, I'm gonna start picking up a lot more um, heroes because I'm getting actually EXP exponentially faster then I'm having the ability to actually utilize the EXP back here. Now I'm not gonna buy the older gear, there's no point. I need more progression to actually move through here and unlock. So there we go, so we unlock this. Gear, again, this is something that I wouldn't look to really buy, just for the simple fact when you're getting gear, um, the gear progression in here is pretty easy to go through, doesn't have really a game-changing difference. Again, we've said before, if you're not doing like 20 plus levels, don't buy the gear, but the one that I would look at is this one right here. And looking at, at a level 130, it doesn't tell me if it's better or not. So I want to make sure going into the equipment, looking at the marksman, we are at 115 currently. So again, we're going 115 to 130, 15 levels. Okay, we have to buy that one anyways, because again, I don't need the EXP at this point. We're kind of farming it again faster than we're using it. So that would be a good one to buy out just for the simple fact that we need to keep our heroes alive. And of course, when it comes to marksmen, when you look at the heroes that we have in here that are used in a ton of different game modes, we have Odie in here, we have Cecilia in here, we have Brian or Byron um, in here, and we ha also have um, Merrily. Those are some really, really strong heroes that we definitely want to go ahead and build. Oh, and I looked at the hood and not, not the chest, but that's okay, because looking in here, again, not forging any of this. We've just been getting a lot of it kind of naturally. The only ones that I did forge were, of course, the two that I focus on right here and then the tank, because it makes a big difference, guys, when you're going from 105 to 110, not worth it, especially using our gold. I'm just gonna go ahead and save those and see exactly what we do pick up in this new zone. Now, in addition, a lot of the gear comes from this side as well. So That was the one shop, this is the second shop. Again, when we're looking to buy gear, this is the reason why I don't go ahead and level up everything. As you can see, we have up, 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 so we have a lot of stuff to buy out of here. And gold at this point, I haven't actually hit a point where I'm using all my gold or I'm losing gold. Um, it seems like, again, in compared to kind of the ex experience that we're getting in here, in here, that the gold is coming in fast enough. So again, we built that out all the way to Mountain 2. So we can level up some more of these heroes, get them built up just a little bit further. 
And of course the old gear we can just go ahead and retire because we're not gonna be using it at all. So we'll go ahead, we'll require re retire all of that old equipment. And there we go, nothing else to build. So we gained some more levels, got Thorin built up twice, which is awesome to see. He is gonna be a monster going through that AFK content, which is awesome to see. So again, we're gonna be able to do that and we're gonna to have to get into the main quest. Now, of course, when it comes to AFK journey, it is about the main quest and it is about the main quest in its entirety. As much as I like the side quest and a couple other things, this is the one that you want to focus on in its entirety. The main quest is what you always, 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 and I stress it, that you always do wanna do because the main quest, even running through here, is going to give you the ability to make a lot of progression and you get a ton of loot out of the main quest. What I do is I go through a zone, I break out all of the main quests, go through all of that, and then circle back and clean out everything else. And of course, as we are right now in AFK Journey with the open world exploration, um, we've actually gotten to the point where I don't have to do anything in the other zones, short of maybe a town quest if it does show up. But every single zone, as you can see right here with our exploration progress, is built or done in 100%, so we don't have anything else to do in there. And then we're gonna continue through the mountains as we continue our progression within the campaign. But all right, guys, so that is gonna do it for today's video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think, and as always, thank you guys for watching.